This is the Facet CM2-16. It was made in Sweden from around 1959 until 1969, but the last two or three years they renamed it the Facet 1004 and gave it a slightly different styling. It is similar to Facet's other machines, which means it has a, a pinwheel mechanism but instead of the output register and the counter being on a moving carriage, instead it's the input that's on a moving carriage. And that also allows the input to be set using a keyboard. This machine has a, a 10 key uh, numerical pad, a keyboard, while the earlier machines all had a Dalton style keyboard with two rows of five keys. So anyway, you can input a number, and that appears here in this window, and turn the crank to add that number to the main register. I've added it now three times, and there's three in the counter. To multiply by larger numbers, you can shift this to the left using these buttons, and that puts an extra zero at the end of the number. On the other models you'd have a, a shield that shifts and covers the added digits, but here the zero is visible. So now I've multiplied the, the number I input, the six digit number, by 23. As you move the carriage, or as you move the input left or right, you see a small dot moving here above the counter to show which digit is the active one. To clear the main register, you use this uh, lever on the left. To clear the counter, you use this one on the right. And to clear the input, you use the lever on the right-hand side of the machine and push that backwards. This machine has a back transfer mechanism and that allows you to copy the or move the number currently on the uh, output register into the input register. And that same mechanism also allows you to copy the um, counter the number in the counter register to the input. I'll do I'll do the output register first. So to copy this number to the input, you simply pull this lever backwards. That will overwrite the number here. And yeah, this number you can now use in the next calculation, just as if you've uh, as if you'd entered it. As you can see, the input is only 11 digits long. Uh, you can't enter a number that's larger than that. And to copy the uh, counter register to the uh, uh, input, what you do is first you shift the input register to the right, essentially by clearing it. So that, that register is now inside here, underneath the counter. And if I now pull the uh, back transfer lever, that number will be in the input, but it's still hidden. If I now press this button here, the 11 left arrow, it shifts the input to the left for 11 digits, so that it's, uh, it's now available to be, to be used in a calculation. So that was the Facet CM2-16. Thank you for watching.